So in this episode, um, I'm going to actually talk about some listening impressions, and um, I finally got this working. So what I've been doing, um, and it's not been for too long, uh, is running this with Cobas. Now I did have issues getting the test version working with Cobas. I'm not even sure you can do it, um, but I bit the bullet and decided that I was going to buy the software anyway. So um, after a lot of faffing around, uh, you've got to basically um, use the USB stick and then format the drive. Uh, so if you remember I've got one of the Intel Optane hard disks in this. Uh, that takes quite a while. I think it was about half an hour. Um, I eventually just um, restarted the web browser for Euphony and uh, it worked. So if, you, if you're wondering what software I'm using it's uh, Euphony with Stylus and um, I'm streaming directly from Cobas. Now first impressions here and you can see um, I've actually got two cards in, but I was running this with uh, USB out from the motherboard, and um, you know, just having a look at what that would sound like. Uh, given the quality of the power supplies I've also got here, just to talk you through these, um, right down in the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm just going to point to that, which is this black box here. Um, I have the Sean Jacobs DC3, and that is powering the network card. And at the moment, you can also see the USB card in there. But I tried this with the um, with the outboard from the motherboard, you know, just one of these USB ports and uh, I would have to say that it was terrible um, like initial impressions were were basically that the treble was almost chopped off, it sounded dull um, in fact the whole the whole sound stage just sort of collapsed mid-range sounded dull um, and this is sort of first impressions from listening to a number of tracks that I'm extremely familiar with um, one of the things I normally do is leave things in for a lot longer but um, obviously just to get an initial impression, I'm very used to my old kit, you know, I've been running that for, um, I think I've had the Aurelic Ares for probably over a year, and I've had the DC3 attached to it for um, another sort of four or five months, and I've listened to that an awful lot, so I'm pretty familiar with the sound of my own system, um, so I'm, I'm able to make a subjective opinion, um, especially if there are big differences. Now, one of the things I always say, uh, to people is like if it isn't a massive difference then you're not going to know if it's a difference or not I mean it's very very hard to say our audio memory is terrible um, but one thing I, I'm quite good at um, is when I switch kit that I've been listening to for a long time um, I can tell if there's you know something missing or if it sounds wrong um, and I would say that I'm not very good at this sort of quick A-B testing um, I find that even within the space of a minute or two of switching sources I can almost forget um, where I am with it, but if I'm very familiar with kit, like I have been with the uh, Aurelic Ares, then I'm I'm well aware of what's happening with the sound of my own system. Now, usually, and if you look at if you've looked at my review of the Focal speakers, um, you will get a massive sound stage from this system. Um, one of the biggest. Uh, some people have come around and said it's like the biggest sound stage they've heard. I'm sure you can get bigger, um, but it's basically wall to wall, um, and it's also front to back. So. One of the things I'm acutely aware of is a soundstage size. Um, this system is extremely good at doing a large soundstage. Now, when I say it collapsed, I mean it really collapsed. So I lost soundstage depth, I lost soundstage height, it became flat. Uh, it was just basically a small, a smallish image in the middle. And then from a clarity side of things, my system is quite um, resolving, but it's also very warm I would call it, so it really really isn't a bright system so when you get a kind of dull sound um, from any components, cables, whatever um, it really kills the system and makes it sound like someone's thrown some pillows over the over the speakers so that's what it was doing now that was extremely disappointing given the level of kit that I've got here so I thought well what's going to happen if I put the um, JCAT USB card in because I was warned that if you run directly from the motherboard um, this may not be the best option so I did that and I have most of my sound back so I would say that there is a significant difference here between running off a motherboard in fact I would go to the point where I would say do not bother building one of these servers if you are running straight off the motherboard um, I can't see that it would be any good now just to make sure I do this properly I have been advised to go into the BIOS and turn off everything that's not needed. So you've got things like Wi-Fi cards on at the moment. Um, I haven't turned those off. Um, potentially I've got additional um, elements within this motherboard that are running. Um, potentially like excess network cards. I, I mean, obviously I'm not using the network at the moment. 
but that card is on um, and there's also the sound card in here so that will be on at the moment all of these things will not necessarily be doing very much but for at least um, common sense perspective why leave them on when they could um, pollute the the uh, the noise uh, we'll just turn them off so I will do that and I may at some point go back to the motherboard now from from this side of things um, I can draw a, a light, and it is a light conclusion, um, and that's if I'm looking at a server, you know, anyone's server, that hasn't got separate cards in it, or at least they haven't thought about this very carefully, I would be nervous about having a server that is taking USB directly off the motherboard. Now, of course, I don't have a lot of evidence for this, but given, given what I'm listening to here and how big this difference is, um, it would make me nervous, let's put it that way, it would make me nervous to run a motherboard um, USB port. So that's my initial impressions and that is very early so I'm going to obviously spend a bit more time with this um, I'm going to try and at some point turn off all of these settings in the motherboard like I, like I was talking about and um, for now I'm just going to spend a bit more time with the music and see where it takes me